Okay. Welcome, uh, welcome to our next lecture. My name is Chan. I'm from Cisco Networking Academy. And uh, for more information about our website, please visit our website here, worldwidewebciscomu.com. Today we're going to talk about IP subnetting. So we're going to talk about uh, IP subnetting. Uh, the pre-2005 subnetting and the post-2005 subnetting and we have some exercise. All right. Uh, some of the prerequisites, uh, you should know how to do binary to decimal conversion to hex without using a calculator. You might know what is the network address, network mask, host range. Uh, you must know IP addressing and some information about IP routing. Alright, so let's say there's a host with an IP address of this one using 20 bits to represent the network bits. Alright, so you first you have to find out the net mask, then the network address, the broadcast address, and the host range. Alright, so whatever, however, or the question come out, you just follow these steps, you will get the answer. You will not get this loss. First, you get the net mask first, then you get the network address, broadcast address, and host range, all right, in this sequence. All right, so the first one, they say you use 20 bit to represent the network. So you're going to draw 20 ones followed by remaining zero, okay? 20 ones followed by remaining zero and you convert it to decimal binary to decimal this one will be your net mass all right uh, net mass to be pretty straightforward okay then let's say you have this ip address you change it to binary decimal you change it to binary and you take the net mass in binary and you perform a binary bitwise f <coughs> sorry so one and one you get one zero and one you get zero okay so when you do a binary n bitwise binary n you get the network id so from the network id in binary you change it to decimal so this one will be your network address okay Your, the next thing is to find the broadcast address. So you take your network address in binary and you determine where's the host bit and where's the network bit. Alright? So the boundary is here. From here to here is, is 20 bits network. You can count there's 20 digit here. Then there's a, a 12 digit behind. Alright? So you're going to change the host bit into all one and that one will be your broadcast address. So from the binary, you change to decimal. The host bit behind, you only change the host bit. The network bit, you don't touch the network bit. All right. So then you find the host range. The host range using 20 bits. Uh, so the, the host range will be network ID plus one and broadcast address minus one so you can see the host range is from here to here so you follow through this <coughs> this step you will not get uh, lost even though the question may ask you in any different order all right so right now we have a uh, five question all right and you should do this during the class now Okay, uh, so let's begin with the first one. Uh, let's do a notepad or notepad. Uh. Okay, so we have one nine three two two eight one two nine twenty two uh, with uh, twenty six bits. All right, network. Okay. So you have 26 bit. So you draw 26 1. Mm 
okay you draw 26 one let's make it bigger a bit right. so this one will become 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 192 all right so your this one will be your that mass okay then the second one is uh you need to get the network id so you take the this one and you end it with uh, your 192 dot 228 dot 129 dot 22 okay by right you should change it to decimal okay I'm doing the quick way all right uh, this one I uh, just leave it aside and what is 22 22 is zero 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 then uh, 16 uh, uh, it's, it's supposed to be 60 uh, this is 16 eh? 16 and 8 in it okay all right so 192 is this one when you end it what did it become uh, okay it become one one zero zero it's the same thing eh? Yeah. so it is become one nine two this one also two two eight because here is all one okay and then this is one two nine okay for the sake of everybody let's do a two two eight two two eight is put a calculator two two uh scientific uh, programmer uh, okay two two eight okay binary will be one 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 zero zero one hundred All right. Okay. One two nine will be one zero 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 one. Okay. Okay. So when you get it up, you get back the same thing. Okay. I said here is zero zero. Okay. So this one will be your. Uh, network ID all right mm. so then the third the broadcast address you take the network ID with the network ID all right and this one is the whole speed uh, whole speed is over here so this is the network bits And this is the whole speed. So you should change all the whole speed to one in it. So here is one 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 one. Okay. Excuse me. Then what do you get? You get one nine two. Two two eight one two nine sixty three. Okay, so this one will be your broadcast ID. Your host range will be one nine two 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 eight one two eight zero plus one zero plus one. 
tail one nine two 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 eight two two eight not two two nine sorry two two eight one two nine sixty three minus one all right so this one will become sixty two okay so this is the IP which you can give to N station in the network. Okay? Alright? Clear? So I'll save this file. Save. IP subnet example okay and you can later I'll email it to you okay so there's also some other exercises which you're going to do later on okay uh, you may want to stop this video for a while and to do these exercises all right you should be able to do it uh, as fast as me all right two or three exercises all right uh, the next thing is uh, in uh, IP subnetting, uh, you want to divide a big network into a smaller network by borrowing the whole speed. So let's say you have this network, you're going to divide it into 200 networks. So 200 networks will require 8 bits. So the number of network created will be 2 to the power of n minus 2. So the first subnet, alright, 10.00 slash 16 will not be used because you cannot distinguish this one and this network this network and this network the last one you also do not use because uh, you cannot distinguish uh, this one and this one all right cannot distinguish all right it's indistinguishable okay so this pre-2005 is the default in the Cisco router before year 2005 after year 2005 you can use the first and the last subnet okay you can use the first and the last subnet there's a link here where you can click and you can see uh, the reason and so on okay so normally now we are post 2005 so you have a network this one you want to borrow three bits to create a 8 equal size subnet what is the net mass okay so uh, let's do it in a notepad uh, let's do it in another one okay okay you have 192 192 168 one dot zero slash twenty four you want to borrow three bits is it? Yeah. so twenty four plus three equals to what twenty seven so your net mass will be slash twenty seven correct so this one will be uh, let's borrow from up here So it will be like this, okay? So it will be 255, 255, 255, and this one is what? Uh, 224, alright? So this is your net mass, okay? So now, what's the question? Uh, what is the first subnet? broadcast address what is the last subnet network address what's the first subnet huh? so what is the first subnet broadcast address and you want to find the last subnet network address okay so the first subnet 192.168.1 so let's break it into a binary 
So the first subnet will be 0, 0. First subnet will be subnet 0, 0, 0. Okay? Because you have three bits. Excuse me for a while. Okay? Then... Okay? Then this one will be the... Okay, one, 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 one. Okay, this one. This one is the network bit. Host bit. Okay? So, the broadcast address will be 192.168.1.1. Thirty one. Uh, thirty one. Okay. What's the last subnet? Last subnet network address. The last subnet will be subnet. Correct? Because you borrow three bits. Alright? So the last subnet will be one one one. And the host bit should be Zero, 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 zero. So what this will be? Two, two, four. Okay. All right. So what is the default gateway of the fourth subnet which use the last usable IP? Uh, all right. What is the default gateway? Okay. So, fourth subnet. So will be use subnet one zero zero. Alright. So this is the first subnet. Is this one? Subnet. This one is the first. So this one will be second lah. This one will be third lah. This one will be fourth. Correct. Okay. Second. Third, fourth. Okay. So your network bits and the host bit. So here will be the network bit will be zero zero. Okay. Okay. So and this the host bit. What did they say? That use the last usable IP. What will be the last usable IP? Ah, okay. So now you change it to decimal. So use a calculator. Lah. Easy. Binary. Okay. Let's. Binary. Ah. One, 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 zero. Correct? Decimal is what? One, two, six. Alright? One, two, six. Okay? This is the answer. Alright. So I'm going to save this. And later on uh, I'm going to email to you. Okay. Any question? No. No, huh? So there's two types of question like this and also like this. So can you do this one now? Okay. There's uh, plenty of paper over there, rough paper you can just take. Okay? Alright, thank you. If you have any question, send us an email. Okay, bye.